What is up my friends, you're very welcome along to the Anfield Agenda Clips channel where we're going to go through our social media reactions after Liverpool have been destroyed, battered, humbled, embarrassed by three goals to nil by Atalanta. A result that doesn't at all flatter the away team. They came, wanted it more, performed better and the manager got his tactics right. So I'm going to do what we always do here. Go through some of the comments we found on social media, reacting to the game and giving you my impression and my take on them. And we'll start off with the first one, which comes in from X and it's, I'm crying, the Klopp farewell spirit has worn off. This is the real us. It's hard to fight back or push back against that comment. It feels like we got the Klopp leaving bounce and now that bounce is well and truly worn off. And there's a lot of players out there who are just looking around for excuses, looking around for ways out, and it isn't acceptable. And I agree entirely with this. It feels like the real us has finally shown up after getting away with it for a while. All I can say is there's still time to at least salvage this Premier League campaign, but it's going to take near perfection to do it at this point. And it seems like since that United FA Cup exit, the wheels are starting to come off. Next comment up from Graham Kelly, who said, that's it. Klopp's last European night at Anfield and we decided to ban flags. I mean, you couldn't write it. I do agree that it was wrong to not have the flags there tonight, especially with the potential of this being it. I absolutely appreciate and understand some people's financial hardship in a very difficult economic time. I'm not trying to belittle anybody for their economic circumstances, but it doesn't feel like the right decision. It never felt like the right decision. And yeah, as Graham said, this could be it. The last night of Klopp in Europe at Anfield. No flags, no banners, no spirit, no atmosphere, no performance. Very little chance. Liam has said, Those fans that attended today and had the bright idea about the protest should never be let back into Anfield again. Piss poor atmosphere. Um, again, I, I understand the frustration. Um... I don't ever want to tar anyone with one brush, but it does feel like some of the falsehoods about it always being the travelling fans or the overseas fans' fault was laid bare tonight because the performance, the atmosphere, all of it just wasn't good enough. And some people need to look inwardly. Some people need to remember that there's a greater good. And the players, they need to hold their heads up and be counted as well because that wasn't good enough. Uh, Johnny Bailey said, Gakpo, only player that even looked like he wanted it. I'm glad I didn't imagine that, by the way, Johnny, because he got the highest score in my player ratings today. And ironically, I agree with you, mate. I do think he put in a better performance than most of the others out there. A player that's been in for a lot of criticism over the last few weeks and months. And yeah, I agree. One of the better performers out there today, but those around him let him down a lot. And I'm just so angry right now. I'm so angry for the reasons everybody in those comments are. This could be your club's last European night at Anfield. It's going to take a comeback of all comebacks. People will say, Craig, we did it against Barcelona. At home with a raucous Anfield. We're going over to face a team that are battle-hardened in Europe in Atlanta. Gasparini knows how to make it difficult. His team reacted, responded. Their away fans, magnificent. Us, from the fans to the players to the coaching decisions, all of it just subpar tonight and just not good enough. I don't know if it was a lack of respect for the opposition, fatigue, but whatever it was, that level of performance on an occasion like that, it's just not acceptable. It just simply isn't. I'm as angry as everybody and I totally... I'm not going in on anyone today for their poor feelings or for their anger because you deserve to be angry after that. Next up, Irish Liverpool fan club said, absolute whimper of an end to the season. Excuse me, whimper of an end to the season. This team needs serious work in the summer. Too many average players. What I would say, um, Irish Liverpool fan club there is, where was the leadership out there tonight? You know, right away from our captain. It's one thing getting players in a huddle before the game and giving sound bites to the media, but your actions set the tone. And as soon as Verge was half paced jogging to that Coop Miners ball, that told me all I needed to know. No leadership there. None of them. 
not one. And Soboslai, a captain of his international team, to give away the ball so stupidly in his own half and we're already 2-0 down. You've every right, all of you, to be angered by this because this shouldn't be how Klopp goes out. This shouldn't be how this season comes to an end. We've been here before. We've had the anticlimactic ends to the season where we've been chasing immortality and come up with domestic cups. We need to put this right by the end of that league campaign because there's seven games to go. And I don't care if Klopp has to bring in the kids and play them. They need to go out there and fight with spirit because those players are getting too complacent, some of them. Salah, Van Dijk, not good enough. Darwin, absolutely embarrassing with that level of missing again. Something needs to be done because they're not playing like they care. And fans will forgive a lot, but a lack of effort, they won't forgive. Next up came from the Echo comment section, Ice Age 2020. They've said, uh, good job he's leaving because that was sackable. Klopp is a one-trick pony, 4-3-3 and nothing else. I'm never going to say I'm glad he's leaving, but I am going to agree with you on a, a very... Little of a plan B there. It was, again, hope. Throw players off the bench. Put hopeful balls into the box. No rhyme or reason. It's like Atlanta were going to be a surprise to us when they showed up. We should know what they're all about. There's enough video of them. We've enough experience playing against them ourselves. It's just a whimper. That's the thing that really gets me is how poor, how much we went into our, our shells, rolled over and just didn't fight. It's so unlike Liverpool and is a collective failure today but I do agree it does feel like the Klopp fairy tale end is coming to an end and with a whimper is what makes it all the more sad next comment up said OJ in Spain said Jurgen Klopp got this one all wrong the starting 11 was all over the place no energy and clueless at times I can't disagree with a word that OJ has said. Again, team selection, absolutely incorrect. Too many changes and not enough chances taken by those players who were given it today. It was just poor Costa should not wear a Liverpool shirt again. He was embarrassingly bad. Van Dijk should not have the captain's armband next season or going forward because where's the leadership? To stop, not excuse me, to not stop a capitulation again when it happened against United twice. And now something needs to change, whether it's we need to defend a yard or two deeper or whatever it is, the basics need to be gotten right because that performance today was all kinds of average. And the final comment came, comes from Kinderhook123 who said, you could hear a pin drop at that game, no atmosphere, all down to the spirit of Shankly with their no flags to blame, keep your ideas to yourself and don't interfere with other supporters. I agree. I agree. I think some sections of our fan base do think that their you-know-what doesn't stink and that their opinions are more valid or more important than everybody else's. To go to a European quarter-final in Klopp's last season and, again, not create the atmosphere, give up your ticket if you don't want to be there. It is an embarrassment that that happened tonight on the night the protest was there. That isn't getting behind the team. That isn't you'll never walk alone. That isn't everything that we're always told that non-local and, and overseas fans are. Look inwardly tonight because it's not everybody else's fault this time. That wasn't good enough. And the tone was set by that protest. So I don't disagree with anybody who wants to point a finger tonight because the atmosphere was shocking. And it wasn't overseas fans' fault this time. It wasn't those taking selfies. The atmosphere wasn't there from the start. For what? 2%. 80 p a ticket. Was it worth it? Because I tell you what, it's done more harm than good. Because a lot of Liverpool fans right now don't have much support for certain fan groups. I'll leave it at that. Everybody's entitled to their say. And I'm sure those people that made the protest feel like that they had valid reasons. We just wholeheartedly disagree. So that's our fan reactions. Over to you guys to let us know your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed to our Clips channel, please do. And yeah, I've got nothing else to add really. Seven games to go. We need to do something.